Hello and welcome to This Is Genius, the show where only the weirdest and the stupidest will do. First up, it's off to the Ukraine where this sign says, Welcome to the largest coffin in the world. But don't worry, footy fans, Peter Crouch is still alive and well. This is a coffin-shaped bar. Inside bar eternity, you'll find funereal music, flowers on the table and a barmaid with a smile that could light up a room. Things like funerals and death in general are really interesting for me. In fact, I never dreamed I'd find a job which could bring me both pleasure and money. What a magical world we live in. And if you expected the man behind the Alco coffin to be a bit sinister, think again. Wait for it. Wait for it. It's July, it's Pamplona in Spain, and a man's chasing some bulls down the street so that the bulls can chase loads of men down the next street. Yup, the world of bull running is one in which no one asks why and everyone runs like hell. This year, Pamplona's most macho got away relatively unscathed. Just four people went to hospital, quite possibly as a result of this weird man-bull pile-up. So while they recover, let's look at something totally different. This is a totally different part of Spain and the men of Sabocedo are also wrestling a different animal. At the Rapa des Bestas, wild horses are brought into town so that blokes can jump on them, get them in headlocks, or get kicked in the stomach. And why, as if you didn't already know, to cut their manes and tails, of course. With barely a second to ask their customers where they're going on their holidays, these wild hairdressers wrestle their way to delivering a horse back and sides. It's tradition, apparently. A quick stop in Argentina now, where this cow has been dressed up like a superhero. It's all in the name of science, of course, specifically the science of farts. By connecting a tube into one of the cow's four stomachs, this man, who we'll call a fartologist, can measure just how much methane Daisy here is pumping out. And it's loads. Yeah, he said it was loads. He's big, he's hairy, and you've forgotten his birthday. Yup, Tai Shan, the panda, has turned three in Washington, D.C., where these not very busy people put hats on to celebrate with him. But just like the babies on You've Been Framed, Tai Shan found his three-shaped cake a bit frightening. A collapsible cake. Great gag, zookeepers. And before we go, here's why no one on the Chilean underground does crosswords anymore. Montserrat Marias reckons her fellow travellers are just too uptight, so she's taken to pole dancing in the carriages, you know, to unstiffen them. We're off to Chile. More genius next week.